to the A end. The human body is a disgusting place. Luckily, that grossness is offset oh, man, butt world again. by some things that are objectively funny. And that, of course, is where farts come in. That can make people from any continent, religion, or race at least crack a smile. Oh, hey, what the hell? Despite how funny they are, some scientists have made it through their giggles to learn a lot about the fart. So plug your nose and get ready to have your world changed. Hashtag drive by. Men fart more often than women. And what will come as a shocker to no one, men actually do fart more often than women do. That's something that most people realized, but it wasn't actually known why that was the case. Yeah, you know what I have to say about that? While it's probably impossible to know, the theories as to why this is the case range from the social, namely that men are less embarrassed about passing gas, to the scientific, that men either eat more or more quickly than women, or that men's bodies create more gases like methane while breaking down food. Is there something you want to say? You look like you want to get something out, son. While the answer, like most things, is a mixture of those theories, it's good for most men to know that it's not entirely their fault that they're a stinkier brand of human being. Oh, dear God, that's wretched. So the next time your husband or boyfriend creates an impromptu and involuntary Dutch oven, just know that he's not doing it to piss you off. It's because he was born that way. Ah! I'm bleeding! Liking this video so far? Then take a second to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. Women's farts smell worse. In my head, I was a social farter. I only farted occasionally. There's a great list out there that breaks down the amount of gases in most farts like methane, oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. And one thing that they have in common is that they're odorless. The smelly part of farts comes from the amount of hydrogen sulfide that exists in each fart. And it turns out that the average fart from a woman actually contains more hydrogen sulfide than the average fart of a man. One night after being out at the bar, I came home with the smell of fart in my clothes. Meaning that a woman's fart is in fact smellier, on average, than the fart of a man. Like the earlier theories as to why men fart more often, there are theories as to why there's more hydrogen sulfide in women's farts. From the fact that it just builds up from the lesser number of farts that women either hold in or have passed, to the theory that women just produce more hydrogen sulfide whilst breaking down food. So, last week, I decided to quit farting for good. Farts are comprised of mostly non-smelling gases. As we just stated, the vast majority of the gases that the average fart releases actually have no smell in them. Over 99% of the volume of the average fart is composed of oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and methane, most of which are byproducts of the fermentation of food by bacteria in the guts of mammals. Yes, science! Nitrogen isn't part of that breakdown, though, and so any nitrogen found in farts is thought to be based on the air that's swallowed while eating, or, you know, swallowing. Boy, who let the frogs out, huh? Hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and methane are products of that process and comprise nearly 75% of a fart in healthy individuals. However, not all humans have methane in their farts, which is why not all people can light their farts on fire. It is thought that the amount of methane, especially when compared to the amount of hydrogen, correlates with obesity, constipation, and or irritable bowel syndrome, as the bacteria that oxidizes hydrogen into methane also promotes the metabolism's ability to absorb fatty acids from food. The smell of that smell. What is that? Oh, God, stop! Earlier in this video, we stated that the average fart from a woman smells worse than the average fart of a man, and that fact stems from the amount of hydrogen sulfide in each fart. While that's understood now, it wasn't always the case. And what the hell is that smell? And there have been a ton of different reasonings as to what adds to the smell of a fart over the years. Did you really just fart? Yeah, but I pushed it that way with my hand. Historically, compounds such as short-chain fatty acids, ammonia, indole, which is an aromatic organic compound that's the byproduct of bacteria, and scatole, a mildly toxic white crystalline organic compound that's part of the indole family, were thought to be the reason that farts smell the way they do. I am the one who farts. <laughs> However, both indoles and scatoles smell like mothballs, which smell like ammonia, which means that they're probably not behind the smell. Why did you do this to me? The larger question is why certain farts smell different from others, and if anyone is able to figure that one out, then they're basically in line for a Nobel Prize, I'm certain. Strangers. It stinks so good. For at least keeping the peace between brothers and sisters around the globe. 
why farts smell different. Oh my gosh, cool. okay, I can't. You farted? That's not cool. That's not even funny. The Wikipedia entry for flatulence shows that, indeed, scientists have spent a lot of time and money, you know, for beans, on figuring out the composition and origin of farts. While this video has dumbed down that science thus far, it's about to turn into a chemistry class. Now, we stated before that the culprit behind the smell in most farts is that gasoline I smell? No, man. No! Isn't the gases that comprise the vast, vast majority of each fart, like oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, or methane, but rather hydrogen sulfide. While that is true, hydrogen sulfide is actually actually just one of a class of volatile sulfur compounds that dictate the smell of farts. Ah, what is it? <laughs> The of Alongside methyl mercaptan, also known as methanol, dimethyl sulfide, dimethyl disulfide, and dimethyl trisulfide. No. <laughs> Who did this to us? God! I'm here on business! Oh. Those all have their own smells, from the smell of decomposing vegetables to the smell of a sweet radish to the smell of rotten eggs. That means that each fart is basically going to smell like whatever mixture of those volatile sulfur compounds exists within it, meaning that you're in for an amazing treat every time you let one rip. Oh man, what's in your nose? I don't know. Do I have something? Yeah, it looks like a fart. That's actually where the origin of the beans make you fart urban legend comes from, as certain beans are known to create those sulfur compounds and thus create stinkier versions of farts, which means that when you fart, you'll know it. How about some more beans, Mr. Taggart? I'd say you've had enough. You fart on average 14 times a day. I can feel it inside me, Ruby. <laughs> If you were to think back to even yesterday to count the number of times that you farted, you'd probably only remember about three to five of those beauties. And that's because a lot of farts come out with little to no fanfare, meaning sound or smell. Those are the fondly titled silent but deadly, or the ones that were both silent and smell free. Really the ones that you don't have to think about, as your body's regulating the amount of pressure in your intestines and is thus letting gas out on a fairly regular basis. While that number may seem pretty high, and it is considering that it's enough to fill up a standard sized balloon every single day, it's nothing to be concerned or embarrassed by. Ever wonder what's at the end of a rainbow? A unicorn's butt. As it actually means that the ecosystem of bacteria that exists within your body is functioning properly. Any significant change, whether it be more or less than that, is something to keep an eye on. What's that smell? <laughs> Why, that's the smell of change, Billy. But as long as you're not really noticing your farts, you're probably in pretty good shape. As you'd notice if you were dealing with gas-related issues, as it's painful on both ends of the spectrum. I'm a whole new level of freak. <laughs> Humans aren't the only fart game in town. Anyone with a dog will know that animals also cut loose from time to time, as we've all blamed a silent fart on the family dog, while we've also all seen that same dog wake itself up from a deep sleep with a fart, like it's perpetually confused and terrified about the sounds from below its equator. Dogs aren't alone here, nor are mammals, as the animal that produces the most farts is the termite, the wood-crunching bug. Excuse me, what do you feed this animal? Oh, you know, oats and hay. Yeah, they like that stuff. As far as mammals are concerned, the ones that produce the most farts are camels, zebras, sheep, cows, elephants, and dogs, especially labs and retrievers. That's a problem, because the world needs a lot of cows to keep up with the demand for their delicious meat, and because methane, especially, is an extremely bad gas in terms of its ability to trap heat in the atmosphere, more than 20 times worse than carbon dioxide. It means that those millions of cows that are out there grazing, chewing grass, and farting are actually helping the planet heat more and more every single season. While scientists are going as far as to try to genetically create cows that don't pass gas to catching that gas and storing it somehow. There's a couple different ways to collect cow farts. The traditional method is to use a jar and catch it. The solution may very well mean the end of hamburgers and steak. Stop eating! Another piece of bacon. Guys, just chill the f out, okay? Most farts happen while we sleep. Great morning. Ah! Both Dutch ovens and the fact that the average healthy person farts 14 times a day have already been discussed so far in this video. And part of the latter was that most people don't remember having farted even 10 times the previous day, let alone nearly 15. While some of that is chalked up to the different ways that the body releases gas and the loose definition of a fart, pretty grossed out. The main reason is that most people mostly fart during their sleep. Like other parts of this video, there are theories as to why this is the case, from the fact that people are typically laying down flat while they sleep to the amount of digestion that occurs while people are sleeping. Like most things, it's probably a combination of theories. It's actually a wonder from what we've learned that we all don't wake up with a room full of fart balloons every single day. Good one, Eddie. Thanks. <sighs> Beans, beans, the magical fruit. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. 
One of the first songs that people learn as children is the old classic. Beans Beans, the Magical Fruit, which is, as its Wikipedia entry explains, a playground saying and children's song about the bean's capacity to contribute to flatulence. There's actually truth behind this saying and song, and that certain types of beans, like lima beans, do actually break down into volatile sulfuric compounds in the body, and thus contribute to not only farts, but also the smellier versions of farts, as volatile sulfuric compounds are already the smelly gases in the average farts. Something's wrong with me. Other types of food also contribute to farts, as they also contribute to the amount of sulfur in the body, and those foods tend to be healthier for you, like vegetables, eggs, and milk. That also means that farts' correlation to overall health health may be a bit of a chicken and egg scenario, as people who fart more often are considered healthier than those who don't. However, since people who eat healthier foods fart more often, the fart could just be the middleman. Oh my finger. Farts are fast. It's hilarious thinking about how exactly they must have been able to clock the average speed of a fart. And while the answers aren't nearly as entertaining as the theoretical, as it was probably done by measuring the rate of airflow using a pilot tube and manometer, or by using the same anemometer that is used to track wind speed. It's good to know that our tax dollars are being spent wisely. The results from those tests found that farts could reach speeds of 10 feet a second, which roughly translates to about 7 miles per hour, which, when compared to other bodily functions like sneezes and ejaculation, isn't that impressive. But when you consider that the victims of farts are usually taken unawares... So who are you, man? <laughs> I'm the potty pooper. It's not hard to see why farts don't need to be all that fast. Sneezes have been tracked at over 150 miles per hour. <laughs> Is it still in? I think I broke a rib. Which is why people are told to never attempt to stop or block a sneeze. Let it go, let it go. Recently, a man actually tore his throat internally because the speed and pressure that comes from a sneeze has to end up somewhere. And that somewhere was through his throat. Sperm isn't as speedy as a sneeze, but it is a bit faster than farts in that they're released at over 10 miles per hour. Take that, termites. Break that wind and click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Thanks so much the famous anus cookies. And don't go anywhere, stick around to check out some of our other videos.